guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Nicole. I'm a homeschooling mom to three kiddos. This year I have a kindergartner, a preschooler, and a baby. And today I'm gonna to be sharing some of the chapter books I picked up to read aloud to my kindergartner for the 2021-2022 school year. And my preschooler and my baby will of course be joining us along this journey as well. Now, when searching for chapter books to read aloud to my kindergartner, I pretty much looked for four main things in a book. So one, does it have an engaging story? Two, does it have short chapters? Three, does it have an easy to follow storyline? And four, does the book include any pictures? So that's just kind of what I considered when searching for books to read aloud to my kindergartner and preschooler this year. I was actually able to find a lot of these at a really good price on sites like Book Outlet and then I took advantage of Target's buy one get one 50% off. And then I actually was able to find a lot of these secondhand on sites like eBay and thrift books as well. So I do encourage you to check your local libraries and thrift stores and those thrift sites when searching for chapter books. Before we get into the list, I do wanna remind you guys that as usual, I will try to link as much as I can down in the description box for you guys. That way you can find these books easily if you're interested in them. The first book we have is My Father's Dragon. And if you guys are just diving into the world of chapter books, this is by far the one I would recommend starting with. It's super short. There's only about 10 chapters. And we've actually already read this one and it only took us a week. And this one's a part of a trilogy. So we do plan to read the other books as well. So there's also Elmer and the Dragon and the Dragons of Blue Land. In this book, the narrator tells the story of how his father went to Wild Island in order to rescue this baby dragon that was being held captured. And along the way, he encounters and has to outwit several different animals. Next we have Mr. Popper's Penguins and this one is just such a fun read for the entire family. This is another one that we've actually already read but we will be revisiting it this year. In this story, Mr. Popper the house painter gets a surprise gift by mail from a famous Antarctic explorer. Throughout the story, the Popper family ends up gaining quite a few more penguins and have to make several different accommodations for them in their home and they end up training and traveling with them. Next we have Babe the Gallant Pig and this is the one we are currently reading and it's a charming story about a young pig that's trying to earn his way on an English farm by behaving like a sheepdog. We also picked up the Millie Molly Mandy storybook. Now this is a collection of 21 short stories and each story is simple and self-contained yet progresses throughout the entire book making this an excellent choice for young readers since they don't have to remember a long plot from day to day. The stories are all about Millie, Molly, Mandy, and her family and friends, and the book is filled with kindness, friendship, and love. It also includes lovely full page drawings throughout the book. Next we have the timeless classic Charlotte's Web. Charlotte's Web is about a pig named Wilbur and his friendship with a barn spider named Charlotte, and all their adventures with the other animals on the farm. This classic touches on topics such as affection, protection, trust, and the miracle of life and death. Stuart Little is another classic written by E.B. White and illustrated by Garth Williams. This book is about a tiny mouse in New York City who's trying to adapt to life in a human home. It touches on the importance of optimism, being resourceful, and staying positive. Now I'm sure you guys are all familiar with Winnie the Pooh, but the classics by A.A. A. Milne are just extraordinary. The unique storytelling of Winnie the Pooh and all his friends in the Hundred Acre Woods is just so heartwarming. Really such a true childhood treasure. I also picked up some Winnie the Pooh peg dolls for the kids to play with during our read aloud. Lastly we have The Prairie Thief. This is a fantasy read about a young girl whose father was falsely accused of theft and sent to jail while she was sent to live with some not so pleasant neighbors, who in fact were the ones to accuse her father of such theft. This book is rich with adventure, adds in a bit of magic, and is a wonderful pick for readers who love spunky heroines. So that's what I have picked out in terms of chapter book read alouds for this upcoming school year. I do not know if we will get to all of these this year, we're just gonna kind of play it by ear, but right now things are going pretty well. There were a few other chapter books that I 
purchase that I didn't share with you guys today because right now they the chapters just seem a little too long for us as a family. So you might see those in next year's chapter book read aloud list. All right, you guys, that about wraps things up for this video. I'd love to hear what you guys are planning to read for this school year. So comment below and let me know which chapter books you guys have picked out. And if you enjoyed seeing our book list today, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And to follow us along on our homeschool journey, be sure to hit that subscribe button below and hit that little bell icon so YouTube will notify you when I post a new video. All right, we'll see you in the next one.